final uh, small UAS demonstration uh, was conducted at Wallace Island uh, for two weeks in February of uh, 2014. My name is uh, Lieutenant Commander Jeff Vita. I'm the uh, UAS platform manager and sponsors rep uh, for the Coast Guard. It allowed us to really focus on the uh, aircraft and its sensors uh, to really determine what uh, combination of sensor packages really work to support uh, the concept of operations for the UAS. This particular small UAS is a, uh, is a rail launched system. Once, uh, once airborne, it's, uh, it's controlled by a ground control station uh, that can be pretty much anywhere as long as it's a line of sight. They basically fly the mission, fly a series of waypoints. Um, they can preload a, uh, a mission, so preload a series of waypoints and let the aircraft uh, fly along those waypoints, basically. The beauty of that and the fact that it's automated that way is that it allows one operator then to uh, still monitor what the aircraft is doing, but you're not hand flying it like you would with a conventional aircraft. It's point and click or it's modifying an uploaded mission like I just talked about. Uh, and then basically you're, the pilot just monitors that and then it allows him to become a sensor operator and then focuses attention on the sensors and where they're pointing and what they're doing. For most people uh, within the Coast Guard and elsewhere, this is, this is brand new stuff. Um, this is cutting edge technology. Typically, on a UAS, you, f you often fly a, a camera, whether that's an electro-optical or an infrared camera or both. Um, but when you look through that camera, it's like looking through, this, through a soda straw. Um, that's a typical term because it, it is, it's a very narrow field of view. You're really not getting that wide area type of surveillance. So you need another sensor to cue that camera to go look at something that it has detected. Uh, much of the imagery that we saw was, was really good and would certainly be helpful for, for any uh, ship uh, crew out there who, who needs this type of a sensor package. When the mission is complete and uh, they're ready to recover it, it's uh, recovered into a, uh, a cable, which is basically, it's, it's a nylon rope, not anything different than what you might find in, in your local hardware store. Uh, but the, the beauty is the simplicity of it. The end of each wingtip, there's a gated hook. And as it flies into the cable, the cable then creeps down the, the leading edge of the wing into the hook where it's gated and captured. And uh, there's an inertial switch in the engine, which basically uh, understands that the aircraft isn't flying forward anymore. And then it's programmed to cut off the engine. Engine stops, aircraft is dangling from a line, and then uh, one of the operators will go out and retrieve it from the line. Uh, the relatively simple technologies uh, that can easily be deployed on a ship, a vehicle from any ground station anywhere, and it's a relatively simple thing to do. And so we want we wanted people to be able to come out and not only see the simplicity of it, but then also see how effective you can actually be with it. So all in all, it was it was great. I think we covered all the bases from from full operations to real clinical research. Mm -hmm.